out to Salt Lake City to, to meet with uh, Jerusha, the director, and, um, and I knew that we needed to write a, a, a comedy score uh, for the film, but it was, uh, it, it needed to be set in a sort of Austin time, and there were a lot of songs in it, but, but it became clear that the, some of the songs needed to be the voice of the main character, and that it would be cool to have uh, an artist uh, write those songs, and um, and I immediately, I, I knew Emma through friends, but I just knew she'd be great for the job, and uh, and she was, and everyone immediately loved her. Elan is incredibly focused, so when he's working, there's just the sense that the time is now, make it happen right now. Another really fun part for me uh, was that that because because I, I knew that we were going to have these songs on the album and I uh, and I wanted to do my own thing that wasn't just cues on, on on the album and I was really inspired to to write this uh, what's on the album now the Austin Land Symphony which sounds very pompous but but it's like a sort of small scaled Mozart style symphony and, and it was uh, all the different themes that I needed to write in the film fitted into the form of the symphony so so there was you know a lot of the the music that just accompanies the characters whilst they're walking around in, 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 in the sort of period in their period costumes uh, made a sonata which was the first movement and the second movement was a romance which was uh, which we needed for the the love story, and then there's uh, uh, the next movement of the symphony is a, 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 in a classical symphony is a minuet and trio, and and instead of writing a trio, I wrote a waltz, which we needed in the film, and um, and the last movement was uh, is a rondo, which is like in, in six eight, which is bouncy, like a seafaring sort of feel to it, which we needed for. Um, for the pirate character, what's his name? Captain George. <laughs> <Captain. with> <laughs> so you know, working with them inspired me to to write these standalone pieces of music. And also, I'm um, I'm very very susceptible to my environment when I'm writing. So there was that listening to Elan's score was very inspiring because the melody is really stuck in my head. And there's a couple of songs on. I think actually there's ones on the theme song, the the end title song for the whole movie is actually based on one of his themes without realising originally I was just like writing a song and I was like this is a great melody and it turned out to be from one of his cue themes and so we kind of managed to create an amalgam of like yeah. the original songs and the score. Sundance, and we were um, we were playing some shows there, and just the way that the the attitude that you brought to rehearsal, I'd be like, okay, we can stop rehearsing now. We'll, we'll be fine on the day, and you'll be like, mm, that didn't sound good. No, but well, that's and because I, I hadn't played a no, gig in about ten I years. Had a rehearsal, I was like, maybe rehearsals are for making things sound good. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do from now on. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> Seen the movie Maybe, finished. Yeah. I was pissing myself laughing. I was guffawing. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I loved it. I was, I was happy how loud the music was all the time. But I hadn't seen the film for so long because it's been quite a long time since it was 
since we made the film to, to when it's been released and I hadn't seen it for so long I'd kind of forgotten bits of it so it was really fun to watch. The whole thing is just so funny. It's going to be a great movie.